So many times when people think about somebody becoming an entrepreneur, they think about, okay, day one they had a job, day two they quit their job, day three they started a business. It just happens in three days. But it doesn't happen that way. Most people started their business being part-time or they had a transitional phase into going full-time. This isn't everybody, but this is a lot of people. I think about when I interviewed Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, when him and Steve Jobs started a company together, and I'm asking him a question. I said, how was it when he got started a job? He says, I had a job. We were both working, whether it was Atari or Toshiba. We had a job, and then six months later, when I noticed that people want to buy the product of Macintosh and our computers, then I quit my job and I went full-time because I didn't have benefits, et cetera, et cetera, and then we started Apple. So there is that idea to know that a lot of people start part-time, and then the key is to know when to go full-time. So today I want to talk to you about seven items to be thinking about when going full-time as an entrepreneur, and, and some of these have to do with each other, some of them are complete separate, but it's seven things to be thinking about when somebody calls me or asks me a question, Pat, you know, I'm afraid, should I go, am I ready, when am I fully ready, should I quit my job, should I go full-time, should I do this? By the time I'm done with this video, this video is for the people that are thinking about, am I ready to go full-time or not? And if yes, what day should I put for me to go full-time and become a full-time entrepreneur? So let me get right into it. To me, I remember when I went full-time, the first thing I had to know was this. Here's the first thing I had to know. I had to know that whatever product you are selling as an entrepreneur, you have a track record of selling that product. Okay, for, ex for example, if somebody wants to become a real estate agent, hypothetically, if you've never sold a single real estate property and you're going full-time the next day and you have nothing in place, nothing in savings, nothing in store, you're just going to go full-time the next day, but you've never sold and you're thinking your family, everyone's going to buy from you, it's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Now, does it work every once in a while? Yes, but it's not a best, best idea for somebody to go full-time right off the bat. I was selling investment products and insurance uh, 401k IRA is what I was selling. And I had to know, Patrick, do you know how to sell these products? The moment I knew how to sell that product, and the number I like is 50 sales, but 50 sales is not in every business. In real estate, 50 sales, maybe you've sold six different homes or you've sold 10 different homes. Then you may be ready to do that. If you've sold six homes, depending on the type of a market you're in and sales you're in, it could be a $60,000 payday, it could be a $100,000 payday. If you're in an Arkansas market with $60,000 homes, it may be a $15,000 payday. So it's all relative on where you're at, but I wanna be able to know that I have a track record of selling that product and making money selling that product and not a one-off success story or two. Multiple success story depending on the industry you're a part of. The next, one, next thing is on when you're ready to go full-time is this. Say I have a job and I'm making eight grand a month, hypothetically. And my business, I want to go full-time on my business. My business is only paying me $1,100 a month. The last three months, I made $1,100. And by the way, never go full-time on one big month. Always, I like uh, uh, the way I gauge uh, my income is I take my six-month income or whatever it is I make on my business every month. And I take the lowest number of the six months. That's my real income, hypothetically. If month, month, uh, month one, I made six grand. Month two, I make $1,500. Month three, I made three. Month four, I made 1,100. Month five, I made 800. And month six, I made 7,000. My real income is 700. That's how I do my math. What is my bottom line number is 700. That's the number I'm going off of. So second point is to, to be able to have your income coming in from your business, cover your monthly expenses. So if your monthly expenses are $2,800 a month and your net uh, income you're making based on it from your business is three grand a month, well, you're ready to go full-time because it's been covering that, and generally I like that to happen on a three to a six-month period before I go full-time. The next one uh, before going full-time as an entrepreneur is having six months of expenses covered. Now, this depends on what type of a business you have. If you have an investor that comes in and they tell you, you know, my friend Robert Greene, who wrote the book 40 Laws of Power, he wanted to write a book called 40 Laws of Power, and he meets this investor in Europe, and he says, look, I'll cover your expenses for two or three years, you go write this book. Well, if you got somebody that's willing to invest for you and cover you, then you have time. Then you can go full-time right now and make it happen. But what if you don't have an investor? What if nobody's willing to invest into your idea? Well, then you gotta have six months of your expenses covered before you go full-time. So if your expenses are $6,000 a month, you got $36,000 a month, you got you know six months to get your business to a level 
where you're making that $6,000 a month and you got to get to work. Every single day counts. Every single cell counts. Every single appointment counts. Every single call counts. Every single minute counts because that number is you're tapping into 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. You got to make sure you make that money by the time that 36 goes to zero. Point number four on uh, going full time. If you're single, you know, you got to talk to your family, but very rarely parents understand when their kids go full time or they become entrepreneurs. And they're really not supposed to, unless if they've been entrepreneurs before, you got to understand that your parents, you know, um, if you've been a kid for 18 years to a parent, you're a kid for 18 years and they think you're going to be a kid forever, right? And, but parents believe in their kids and they love their kids, but they don't want to necessarily see them go through a failure. So you got to go earn their respect that you can become an entrepreneur. You know, there's a, my mom doesn't believe in me and my dad doesn't believe in me. That happens a lot. Well, they, you've just been a kid longer than you've been an adult in their lives. You got to go earn that respect from them. And when you do that, it's, oh, wow, we never know you could do it. Good job for you. Now you're an entrepreneur. But you, you, you got to make sure you have that conversation. If you're married, you're watching this. You got a family and kids. You're not single. Somebody's single saying, I don't care. I can go full-time today. You can. I did. I went full-time at a young age. Lost, failed, failed miserably, and it was okay. I was in that $49,000. I lost every single thing. Credit card debt, Mac. I mean, it was terrible. But I didn't have kids. I didn't have a responsibility. I didn't have you know, a wife or somebody that was relying on me. If you're married with kids watching this, it is very important for you to have this conversation with your partner and your spouse before going full time because you got to feed kids, family, all that stuff. If you don't have the savings, if they know that you have the savings, if they're willing to support you with the savings, then you can go do it. One of the good stories I recently saw was from uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart goes to his mom and says, Mom, I want to be an actor. I want to be a comedian. And his mom says, You're out of your mind. He says, Mom, I'm telling you, I want to be a comedian. I can do this. His mom says, You're out of your mind. He says, Mom, please, I want to do this. Finally, his mom says this to the Kevin Hart said, I'll support you for one year. You don't need to have a job. One year. But if you go become a comedian, you better believe I'm working to pay your bills. For one year, I will support you financially, but you better be working hard to become a professional comedian. Kevin Hart today, he's in every other movie. You blink your eyes, you open it up, he's in another movie that he's doing. Kevin Hart making millions of dollars and his mom's proud. But that happened. He had that conversation with his family. His family believed that he was serious. The rest is history. By the way, comedians, they're entrepreneurs. Actors, artists, they're entrepreneurs. This is independent contract the world where you're going and making money on your efforts. You're not getting a W-2. If you don't work, you ain't making money. That's the same mindset that goes into doing what they're doing. The next part is this. The next part is this. Um, timing. Timing is what it is. A lot of time, you know, I, I have a lot of people that I coach on going full-time. Some of them are afraid, so they wait way too long, and they've been ready for a long time to go full-time. Okay? They just don't want to work that hard. So they're really, what you're really saying if you've been holding it off is you're afraid of how much work you need to put in. And you don't really want to work that hard. That's what you're saying. So a lot of people, you know deep down inside you can make it. You know deep down inside you can make it. But you don't yet have the work ethic. And you're afraid if you want to really put that much work in. The other people is who do it too early. Okay? And you could have waited a month or two more months before going full time. There's never really a perfect timing on when to go full time. I've never seen anybody do it just perfectly, everything perfectly on time. No matter who does it, it's going to be ugly at a period of time when you decide to go from W-2 to entrepreneur uh, full-time. But there's a timing component. And you got to know if you're being way too early or if you're being way too late, generally you'll be able to understand it much better on when to go full-time. So that's the timing part. The next one is it takes courage. you got to have guts when you're going full-time. Uh, you got to have the guts. I mean, I had one of my... Uh, Good friends, Fred and uh, uh, his wife, Christy, these guys are bartenders. They've been bartending for a while, but not regular bartenders. They're making six figures. They're doing good. And they were thinking about whether they want to go full-time or not, and they want to go become entrepreneurs or not. Should they go become this? Should they go become brokers? Should they do this? Should they not do that? Finally, they did. And when they did it, his wife gets pregnant. And now, this is like, get married, pregnant, and start a business. Talk about anxiety and panic on what to do. But they have guts. They had courage, they went to work, and this month and the month of May with their business, they're going to net somewhere on $50,000. But if they didn't have the guts to do that, going from six figures as bartenders to not, they would have never made the 50. But it was never really perfect timing for them. They just had the guts to do it. That's why they are where they are right now. The last one I'll talk to you about is, uh, the last one I'll talk to you about is similar to uh, what I said talking to a loved one is 
sitting down and letting your family know what's going to happen with scheduling moving forward. Let me explain what I mean on what's going to happen with scheduling going forward. You know, a lot of times if, if you're married, again, if you're married and you got kids and you got family, if you don't sit down and tell your family what to expect when you become an entrepreneur, your spouse, your husband, your wife, your family may expect you to be coming home at 5 o'clock like you did with your job. They may be expecting you to come home at 6 o'clock like you did at your job. That's not how it's going to be when you're an entrepreneur. Your family, need, you need to get the buy-in of your family on the type of a schedule you're going to have the moment you become an entrepreneur. They need to understand that this is not a 9 to 5. You're going to be working double time. You know There is no 9 to 5 as an entrepreneur. You're morning early, 7 o'clock, and you're going to have 10 o'clock nights, sometimes 11, 12 o'clock, but you can have Sundays with your family. And I'm a six day a week type of a guy myself. Now we have a blast, we travel, we do all that other stuff, but there needs to be that conversation taking place with family to know what to expect uh, when you're going full time with the business. Because in reality, what is, what is the real reality part of becoming an entrepreneur? Think about it. So ask that question. Why do you want to go become an entrepreneur? Why? Freedom, lifestyle, control, Building something, legacy, being part of something very big, solving a problem, solving a bigger problem, find a way of doing it better, financial freedom, victories, you know, all that comes together. But all of that stuff is what everybody wants. You know, going through that process, like the whole process of making a sausage, sausage may taste very good, but the process is as nasty as possible. Very few people want to go through that process if you do it right as an entrepreneur and make your transition from part-time to full-time following these seven points that we got here, it'll make for a better transition of going full-time, but there's never, ever, ever a perfect right way of doing it. No matter how, whoever I've ever seen do it, and I was, oh my God, you don't understand, I'm so nervous, what do I do, what do I do this, what do I? As long as you know how to put your head down and work your butt off and know how to sell your product and figure out ways to make money with the product that you have, and you're getting better, things ought to pretty much work out in your favor if you do that. Anyways, if you got any questions about going full-time, comment on the bottom. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please be sure to do so. Subscribe to the channel here. And if you're watching this video somewhere else on the internet, you can always go visit patrickbaydavid.com. Let's put that ringtone here. Thank you. patrickbaydavid.com for more content. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.